Hi, beloved friends. I'm calling this video New Religious Wars. Uh, you know how we look at history and we see religious wars and we think how ridiculous they are. You know, why are people fighting each other over a, a belief system, right? A belief system over what's true and uh, what they believe is true and they're so passionate about believing that it's true. So I'm gonna talk about the new religious wars that we have today, and that is other belief systems that are around um, mm, causes, I'm gonna say, and uh, what's healthy for you, what's not healthy for you, such stuff like that. So I'm gonna give you the example of like a belief system that apple pie is good for you. It's like, you have to have apple pie every day to, for, for ultimate health, for raising up in your, your uh, spiritual development, for um, being a proper member of society, for uh, uh, living the truth. You have to eat apple pie every day. So if you can think about how that is um, not, uh, you know, it's something pretty benign, pretty... Uh, silly um, but you know the 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 feeling of like losing family members because this family member doesn't believe in app be, uh, eating apple pie they're not eating apple pie every day um, and you feel like they've they're lost to you they're they're dying they're they're not going to survive um, what else and um, you know fighting over it you know uh, getting on the YouTube and and talking about this the importance of eating apple pie every day and uh, uh, Whatever whatever that's what I want to say whatever It's all different perspectives It's all different belief systems and you know what if you got the message that apple pie is important for you to eat every day then eat apple pie every day but we're all different and we all see things differently and when we bring out statistics yo know, you know uh, people who eat apple pie every day uh, you know f five out of six uh, uh, grow younger or um, I mean these are ridiculous stuff we come out with statistics we fight don't we want to just accept the beautiful harm the beautiful contrast of the differences and uniquenesses as we are in harmony. Um, and the more we get upset about uh, how someone else doesn't believe in our belief system, um, we're actually just creating a negative vibration for the earth. The more we feel love and joy within ourselves, the more we can feel peace. So do the thing, the, the more love and joy and peace we give to the world. So do the things that bring you joy and accept that other things give other people joy, right? And we don't all have to enjoy doing the same things. We don't all have to um, have the same perspectives and belief systems. It's the same old religious wars that have been going on for so long and you know now that people are kind of seeing that religious wars are stupid they're um, they're doing other philosophical wars and and can't see it sometimes you don't see that we're uh, still doing the same old thing so um, Really stay in your center. Take a deep breath in. Know where you are right now in your body. Feel your body. See where you are in your environment. Are you warm? Are you cold? Are you hungry? Are you thirsty? Are you in a safe place? Hopefully you're all in a safe place at this point. Then why get upset? Why get a fight flight experience within you? If you're in 
a comfortable, warm, safe place in this beautiful earth that is as beautiful it is heaven. But we can create hell while we're here if we want. So less of this, less of this logic stuff and more of the heart. More of really understanding our purpose of being here for love and light and joy. Keep breathing, breathing into your heart and feel the warmth of your heart. And see what you can appreciate. Appreciate that you can breathe, that you are breathing. Appreciate that you can see. Appreciate that you can hear. Appreciate that you do have nature, even a tree outside or a plant in your home. And feel the difference between the feeling you get from appreciating and the feeling you get from being so concerned over some life philosophy logic concern or way of or philosophy or cause Go back to your breath and be grateful that you have the ability to think, to hear, to feel. And remember a time when you really felt loved, embraced, when you felt joy, when you felt this flow. Remember that time, feel it, feel it again. And then keep yourself in that energy of the flow. Go forth with blessings.